On Saturday, June 8th, police were dispatched to a phone shop called Elect electronics in the Pavilions Shopping Center in Uxbridge, West London, after receiving a call that a woman was throwing a tantrum in the store, pulling dozens of phone cases, maybe hundreds, right off the shelves, and generally trashing the store. Now, according to the little bit of reporting done on the incident, this was all because she had purchased a new phone from this store just three months prior and had now decided she wanted to buy something else with that money uh, and demanded that the store take the phone back. This is the footage taken from inside the store before police arrived. No problem. You don't want to get pricked. No problem. Okay. Oh, you want to get arrested again? I didn't give a no problem. Ah, no problem. security. Ah, please. Ah, no stop. Problem. Stop recording me. I'm scared. No problem. Stop recording me. I'm no scared. Problem. No problem. I'm scared. Stop. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Hello. Okay, who, please? No problem. Are you gonna grab her or not? No problem. Just leave me. She bought a phone and she didn't. Don't spit in your face, crap. No problem. Don't spit in your face, you stupid crap. Go ahead. Keep going, keep going. You're all getting recorded. You can wait till the police come. You can wait till the police come. Beg your own neck. Beg your own neck. Pray that, pray that. Police are in here. Who's that your point? Should we give my fing money back, you stupid crap? Are you gonna get your money this way? Okay, I'm gonna come back every single day. I'm gonna come shop every single day. Come back. Come back. See how you like it. You can come back. It's okay. It's okay. I'll see you every day. No problem. Who the fuck? Because I don't understand. Who the fuck? Where the police come? Who the fuck? I don't know. She was like, "Oh, you're dumb." I asked for my money back on the phone, which was about two months ago. And while we can probably assume that the recording we were watching was that guy's, um, this is another recording of the incident taken by someone who was just passing by the store while this was occurring. A spokesperson for the Metro PD offered the following statement. Officers attended and detained a 19-year-old woman who was said to have thrown items in the shop and been abusive towards staff. The victim stated to the attending officers that he did not wish to provide a statement or make any criminal allegations, and the woman was not arrested. So there's a gay couple at my job and they fight no, every I'm night. So serious. I'm going to the house and I'm destroying all of your belongings, Arnold. Do you hear me? I don't give a TikTok user K Noah is breaking the internet with a clip she recorded on June 7th at her sister's high school in Chula Vista, California. Kids all over the country are graduating high school right now, and for Hawaiian families, at least according to OP's family, I personally wouldn't know, tradition dictates that graduating students walk with a lei around their neck. However, according to a lengthy explanation that Kanoa left with the video, her sister was denied from walking at her graduation ceremony because the school staff decided they wouldn't be allowing the lays this year. Not only that, but the uploader claims that her sister was forced to wait in another building, crying and confused, as her peers were walking and receiving their diplomas. When the family finally showed up to express their outrage, her window to be able to participate in the ceremony was almost closed, and this is the harrowing footage of the confrontation 
she recorded. We watch it every year. No, okay. So then on the webinar, it we, doesn't matter. We, we made it very clear. So we that they went were to the permitted. district to get permission, but you guys didn't want to call Our the district. Our family permits the lays. We gift the lays. It's a Hawaiian tradition to celebrate after the ceremony. No, when are you no, Hawaiian? During the They're ceremony, <laughs> all of us walked across the lays. How many Hawaiians yes. do you have in your family? It takes us years to get these lays. We don't get these every graduation. I'm so sorry, but we. we You're not sorry. I don't want to hear sorry. I want my daughter to be on that field and walking with her traditional garb like every one of my other family members in the past have graduated that's what i want because she deserved it did they go to the district and ask for permission well he asked he got to wear it when he graduated he asked he got to wear it when he graduated every one of my so i don't get it you don't have my permission to videotape me so please stop it's public school it doesn't matter i am saying no you don't okay i won't videotape you i'll videotape her but we'll hear you okay so the ceremony is going we're just needing know to know the what the decision going. what's the decision do you want to walk down there with your lays you're going to walk i see people wearing their cultural uh banners and just like her whole i mean you flag. might as well tell christian people not to wear a cross and the graduation it's just a simple flower lay and I, our flag. I know what you're saying, you know, and, and it's a different principle from when it's you not guys a principle. when you guys. This is a lifestyle. This is my culture. None of, none of the schools this is the discrimination, discrimination against my culture. I don't care what the other school is. This is this school. This is this district. All of our schools have the same policy. It's not. I don't care. Policy isn't law. Policy isn't right. Can we make an I had this Dr. Cultural, this I had Dr. Cook thing. on my side when I graduated last year, and he he Folks, allowed we're, me. We're running out of time. Do you want to walk Make with your leg? Well, he wants decision. to walk with she, his leg. She wants to walk, she can't wear it. So it's up to you. If you want to walk, you do it, and then you can take this to the district. It's going to the district. However you want to do it's it. going to the district. Of, I mean, they're going to start calling names in about six minutes. So what do you want to do? Do the right thing and let her walk down well, there. Sure, said, we're past that point. So that we're not past that point. Go down there with your legs. Go down there with your legs. Let them tackle you. See what happens. Go down there with your legs, baby. I'm sorry. We need you to be more level-headed. No, I am level-headed. Go, go with your leg. Now, I'm going to note here, this only happened two days ago and is still a developing story. So we don't know what became of this situation yet because the uploader hasn't made their update video. But if you want to keep up with her story, you can find this video and any future updates on her TikTok page. <laughs> We've got some incredible DoorDash drama here. So TikTok user and Mississippi resident Woman of God ordered a pizza for her and her child through DoorDash. Only when the DoorDash driver showed up, she was furious that she didn't include any tip. Our main character seems to believe the woman's expectation of a tip was unwarranted and even accuses her of not understanding the struggles of black people by being upset. No, no, no. You just said I had a tip you. Do I have to tip you? But you said I had a tip you. You you said they no 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 you said I had a tip you, right? I asked you a question. Do you think this is a free free delivery service? It's not. Okay, I didn't say that, but I don't have to tip you if I don't if I don't want to. Now I said that I do do membership. That means well you need to contact them and let them know that no 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 you need to be informed about your job. You need to be informed. Okay, well y'all have membership where you can pay at least eight dollars or fifteen dollars or whatever a month, which is what I do. So okay, well you need to know about your own job. No no no. Okay, well you need to let them know that because what what you came at me is not right. You need to go to the boss whatever boss that is that you work for not this one baby because i paid for my pizza i don't even know what that is okay well you need to be informed about your own job obviously you need to be informed not me boo i, I, said, I do i order from door that too at home i, I don't do, care what you I do i don't you don't know you don't want your job do you i don't care about this job well then if you don't care then work somewhere else you need to look at my tag baby i ain't worried about this shit here Okay, so well, why you doing it? Now black people think that this shit is uh, okay, okay, no, 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 no. You're black, you say you're black, right? You're well, you black. should understand that sometimes we do struggle. So if I struggle, yeah, you may be considerate of that as well. So if I order a pizza from for my, me and my child to eat, it's a reason for it. So be black and understand that people struggle as well. So that's no excuse. That's no excuse. That is no excuse. Okay, it's high. It's high. So why you want to tilt? That don't make sense. Girl, bye. Do better. Do better as black people do better. I don't care. I won't, I won't order from you. You probably finna get fired. Bye. Hey, 
Hey, is that how you guys treat a homeless guy? I don't give a shit. You don't treat somebody like that. What are you guys, 10? Grow up. TikTok user BJ caught an insane piece of footage in Las Vegas. This man, whom OP doesn't know to be clear, appears to be scaring off the entire mall's security staff by himself. And the comment section is replete with people making fun of how useless these security guards appear to be. He got the, he got the whole security running. <laughs> While the OP doesn't give us much else, it's kind of hilarious to see how these security guards wanted to act at the end like they were the ones taking care of business here. Also important to note, it's possible that these guards may have chosen to keep their distance because, unlike cops, they can get in a lot of trouble for laying hands on the shoppers. TikTok creator Fox Mehmet caught a harrowing encounter during his outing to Butterfield Canyon a few days ago with a couple he says caused his truck to get stuck in the snow and then attacked he and his friends afterward. According to our main character, he has or was slowly getting his truck out of a patch of snow when this couple's side by side, that's one of these things, came flying by right next to him, damaging his truck and causing him to get his tires stuck in the snow. What happened after is jarring. Your mom said you're intoxicated, you can't I am walk. Not. I have sandals on, you dumb. You good luck. Yes, I talked to her and I showed her picture. Okay. Oh, so good yeah, there you go. There's assault. Stuck. Exactly. Look at your oh, goddamn truck. We asked you. You're intoxicated. You. There it is. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Oh, don't do it. Oh, Lord, don't do it. Oh, Lord, don't do it. Don't touch me. Oh, Lord, don't do it. Oh, yeah. I'm slurring my words. Your mom said stop. I don't care what passenger side is. There it is! Don't touch it! There we go! You're intoxicated! You can't walk! I have sandals on you, You can't walk! Seen him in accident? You tried and they got mad at the accident. That's all of the above! You guys are fucked! Take it! When you hit it, you hit a parked vehicle? Let me know how that works! I asked you, but don't touch me! Don't touch me! Oh, don't do it! Oh, Lord, don't do it! Oh, Lord, don't do it! Don't touch me! Oh, Lord, don't do it! Oh Lord, don't do it. He's being childish. I'm more grown up than you guys. You're That's fine. Because you can't drive. That's fine. You're intoxicated and I got a soul on both of you. I am not intoxicated. You can f*** off. You're slurring. There's you literally an open out. beer in the razor. I'm going to talk to you, Mom. Oh my gosh, there's a mutual open there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. The pastor Your mom said good oh. to you. It is a soul. I got witnesses right here. I, I got video, buddy. Out. Yeah, this guy right here. I wanted to help wink you out. out. So we and I came back up this to wink you out. Here we going, guys. Appreciate the help. But they're taking right, off. Sorry, sorry. Get him. Get him on there. Hey. You want a money shot? <laughs> Not you. You're <laughs> Yep, and hit my vehicle. His mommy said, good luck, buddy. And <laughs> Dude, hell yeah. I think it's really kids. fun. 
OP posted a follow-up video where he showed a message this woman had left on the video he posted and informed us that she and her man did indeed get their just desserts as they were charged with a hit and run for this incident. TikTok user Christine caught this incident at a Target in Glendale, right outside of Los Angeles, between a man in a mint one piece, and we'll try to leave him alone for that, and one of the employees. Just an observation here, but I don't understand why people risk getting punched for an employer who actually could not care less about you. Just something to think about. Back no, up. you back up. Don't Yo, be running up on me like y'all finna do something to me. I'll sue the shit out of us. You that. are y'all. Sue. You ain't hey, nobody. Sue. You ain't nobody. What the you talking about? I am somebody. You nobody. I'm somebody that's good in your face. Nobody. You do what you do. Hey, get out. Get out my face. Hey. Back up. Hey, tell me where this. Back up. You put your hands on me, I'm gonna sue you, punk. Yeah. I ain't gonna go nowhere. Yeah, you are. I ain't gonna go nowhere. Yeah. Now you get out my face. Yeah, stop spitting on me, bro. Shut up, punk. While the original poster doesn't give us any more context around this incident or why it happened, eyewitnesses say that they saw him leave in a matching seafoam Prius. TikTok user Alicia caught an incredible video at Dollar Tree of all places, and she's not involved but a bystander here. Now normally here on Public Freakouts Unleashed, we know what these employees have to go through and the horrible people that they have to deal with on a daily basis, and I find myself on the employee's side more often than not. But frankly, when it comes to this particular circumstance, the way this guy was talking to this old man, the customer, was pretty gnarly. Can't really condone it. You can only insert it right here. Listen, you got two seconds. You got two seconds to insert that card, or I'm gonna avoid the transaction, and you're gonna have to leave. I want to check you on myself. You, you must be quiet. No, you must do what I'm telling you to do. It won't work. Yes, I want to. I want to check you on myself. You just did. It didn't work. You can't swipe it. It's not that type of card. And then when it doesn't do it, what are you going to do? It's not, it's not going to do it. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. It's not going to do it. Okay, go ahead. What does it say? Insert the card. What I've been telling you to do for the last two, three minutes. I know. I if you'd have done it before, we you'd be done, you'd be gone. You want to check again? Really? No. <laughs> Bring it. Siante says that her small daughter's red wagon had been mysteriously stolen from their property earlier that day, when purely by coincidence they noticed a woman at the gas station who appeared to have an identical wagon. After finding the woman later that day in front of a Taco Bell, she decided to confront the alleged thief on camera. Mine. 
So I need you to get your stuff out right now. What do you mean? This is mine. This no, wagon. My, I. Yeah, okay. That's bullshit. My wagon just left, and y'all be walking across, stealing people's shit, and I need uh, you to take your stuff out immediately. No. You have literally 10 seconds. I don't care. No, this seconds. is mine. I actually bought this. Huh? No. Come this, here. Come here. No, come this look. is mine. Yeah. She don't even want us to look. Please. What are you talking about? Look. Look at what? Hey. Look. Hey, come on now. Yeah, this is ours. Yep, this is ours. How? No, it is not. Stop. Would you stop? Oh, my God. Hey, she crazy. stole my shit. And I I'm getting it back. back. I'm saying, Sam, all you have to do was come and say that something. Was, uh, for what? She came to my property and took my stuff. So how come it hurt? Say something if you want to. Okay, I'm gonna, I can call the police. You call the police because she stole my shit. Okay, well, I can call the police. Call the police. Siante says she checked the name on the wagon and the contents inside to make sure that this wasn't just a crazy coincidence. And sure enough, Siante says they found her daughter's name on the wagon. According to her follow-up video here, she took the wagon back, no police ever got involved, and the Taco Bell manager who confronted her at the end of the video we just watched ultimately backed off. I couldn't verify the source of this next clip, but it's hilarious. It depicts an angry business owner uh, tracking down a woman who opted not to pay for her services after the fact uh, and decided to go order some pizza instead. Folks, pay your bills. This is ridiculous. Ma'am, you need to come back and pay. Okay. Oh, I'm going to have to post you on the internet. I'm serious. You need to come back and pay. Okay. You cannot get served and walk out my shop like that. No, ma'am. Okay. I can okay. fish your nail. Okay. No, no, you're going to have to come back and pay. Okay. I'm going to post you on the internet. I'm serious. Okay. You're stealing from my business. No, I'm not stealing from your business. Yeah, so why didn't you pay? I, I, why didn't you pay when you walk out I'm my shop? Why didn't you pay? I told you why when I left. No, I don't trust you. You need to come back and pay. Or I'm going to post you up. And Elgin needs more. It's only $20, $30 to pay to do the right thing. You get served and you walk out. I said, okay, but I'm not going to talk to you here because this is... No, you did not talk to me at my business. I asked you nicely to pay. I will lie to you. You walk out. No, and you not. think I'm not going to follow you. Anyway. This lady gets served in my business and she should walk out. And she over here ordering pizza. You go the away right now. Get inside your goddamn house and shut the up. You're always a pain in my ass. I'm having this is a brand new car! Brand new! I'm exchanging you with your dealer for another, and now I can't. Because you couldn't just back out straight. Just back out straight. It's a brand new car! I was right here! Right here, did you not see the big black car behind you? I got out to make it easier for you. I got out of there to make it easier for you, even though you never do that for me. You never do that for me. But I'm backed out to make it easier for you. Give me your insurance. TikTok user David woke up one morning to loud construction noises coming from his own roof, only he hadn't actually hired anyone to do anything like that. Hey, you're doing the wrong house. It's supposed to be this house. Huh? You're supposed to be doing that house. Huh? Yeah, not this one. You're supposed to be doing that house. But right there. It's the wrong house. You get it, man. No, wrong house. What are we gonna do now? I can't talk, I got cold. They ripped my roof off. In a follow-up video, we learned that this turned out to be a happy accident for our main character, David, who got his entire roof replaced for free because of this. In a comment he replied to, he also tells us that he bought the crew lunch and dinner, and when they were done, they all played soccer together and enjoyed some cervezas. All in all, things turned out great for everyone, except the poor guy who made the mistake and apparently got fired. 
TikTok user Eben Sledge posted a gem of a video she caught at one of the Spirit Airlines terminals, another point on the board here, in the LAX airport. Two passengers who do not, by the way, appear to know each other have missed their boarding time and failed to board the plane with everyone else. Only they seem to think, and I'm particularly and especially talking about the guy, as you'll see in a second, uh, that this is everyone else's fault but theirs, and proceed to berate and yell at the employee. Girl, I'm a military person. I don't start talking with people. I understand that, but it was already Can I please go on my flight? I gotta go to work tomorrow. You didn't even try to ask anybody, man. You sitting right here and not doing nothing. Ask somebody first. Do that. You talk about go ask somebody. Go ask somebody. Do that. All that money be paid for you. Ask somebody. No. Sir, sir, you can talk about it. Hey, go ask somebody. He got it. He got it. TikTok user Sour Life Ace uploaded extensive footage of an encounter he and his friend had with the Massachusetts State Police after they pulled the pair over on suspicion of overly tinted windows. Initially, the interaction is normal, cordial even, but when our main character sitting on the passenger side here, to be clear, tells this officer he doesn't feel he needs to answer the officer's questions about things like his occupation or what's in his bags in the back seat, the officer starts getting irate and even threatens our main character with detention for a reason that we're pretty sure he just made up. They can ask me whatever they want. I'm not stepping out this car unless they pull me out of it. I know. Open the store. Why do I need to get out of the vehicle? I'm taking you out of the vehicle. For what reason? Officer safety. What law did I break? In the bag. Can I get your name and badge number, please? Barboza 5191. And you, officer, name and badge number? 4674. So if I don't get out the vehicle, I am what, being detained or, or subject to arrest? You're being detained. Detained for what? I just want to know what I'm being detained for. You're being detained for officer safety. Officer safety? That's not, what law is that? What, what crime have I committed? You just need to step out and have a conversation with the man. Yeah, but what crime have I committed, though? I haven't committed no crime. He said he stopped me over for tents. I told him to, to, to check, check the tents. Give me a ticket for you. How soon I'll be on my way? Not yet, no. Yeah. I obviously just got here. You want to put this down a little bit? I don't feel safe, officer. I don't, you don't feel know. safe with I me? I do not feel safe To at talk all. to me? No, not at all. all. Right. So that's at 100 right now, right? Okay. Sorry, it's rated 35. Okay. So it's legal? Yes, sir. Stay in the car, right? I, we have no plans of leaving. What's that? We have no plans of leaving. Whose car is this? It belongs to me. How come you're not driving? Well, because I had him drive. I had a long day today, so I told him to take over. He's going to drop me off at my place, and he's going to take my car. And I'm staying, I'm staying with the car. What's that? I got to work on it. You're working on the car? Yeah, he's my personal I mechanic. I got to work on it, yep. Personal mechanic. Okay. What's wrong with the car? Nothing. He's just going to add some modifications to it. That's okay. all. All right. What's in the bag? In the bag right here? The, yeah. the duffel bag? Yeah. A bunch of cleaning supplies for my vehicle. Okay. You didn't want to show him? Uh, the officer? Yeah. I mean, I don't see why I have to. You don't You don't have to, but usually when people have cleaning supplies and an officer asks to see it, they just show them. No, I understand. I don't want to make you guys' job any difficult than what it already is, but personally, I don't really like answering questions. And when he came up, honestly, I just felt threatened. And honestly, I don't feel safe with neither of you two being here. Okay. And him trying to force me out of my vehicle is very unlawful because I haven't committed any crime. So I don't see why I should be detained for any reason. Okay. So if he feels like my tents are too dark, he could have wrote me my ticket, did what you just did, officer, yeah. and I could have been on my way. And you're not trying to cause problems with us. Well, because I'm being is. honest with you, I do feel unsafe. What do you feel unsafe about? Wait, we got two police officers, armed, two armed police officers. Are you kidding me? I would, I mean, and, and, and let's be honest, the history of cops and, and what's going on lately, it, it doesn't look good. Okay. It just doesn't make me feel safe at all. Okay. Am I good to go? Yeah. 
officer safety, huh? So after all that, the window tints were actually completely legal. And our main character was sent on his way. So what do you think? Was Sour Life Ace in the right for refusing the search? Or should he have cooperated with the officer's questions and demands? Video creator and dog trainer K9 Train Unit posted a video just a few days ago of an extremely awkward and cringe refusal of service he experienced at a pizza place called Community Pie in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Staff member and manager Lucas tries to tell our main character that his service dog will have to sit outside. The cringe is palpable. We don't have to, not to call the cops again. Uh, I told you it was a service animal. Um, can I get a menu, please? Do you have papers for the service animal? I don't have to have papers for the service animal. We don't allow dogs in here, period. No matter what. Even if it it's a service animal, you can seat them outside if you want to. But it doesn't matter. Can I please get a menu? No, sir, you can't. Uh, you're violating federal law. Can I get a menu, please? No. Can I get your name? My name's Lucas. Okay. Can I please get a menu? Are you gonna order food? Yeah. Then well, I'm gonna ask you to sit outside because you have a dog. Uh, no. That's how this works. Yeah, that's not how that works. It is how this works. We don't allow dogs inside no matter what. If you have a service animal, we allow you to sit on the patio, mm -hmm. on a leash. So if you want to sit outside, uh, you're welcome to. Mm -hmm. These are customers, right? Correct. Okay. Can I get a menu, please? Absolutely not. Well, you're violating federal law. We don't allow dogs inside, unfortunately. You don't have that right. Can I get a menu, please? You have to tell everyone to leave the restaurant. Pizza, please. PTSD service dog. PTSD? Yeah, pick up. Yes, but you're not getting it. How am I supposed to know that's what I guess? There's no best on the Because I told you that. It's a felony for me to tell lies. After the fact, our main character says Lucas was proven wrong when he spoke to the owner and the owner apologized to our main character and promised to educate the rest of his staff, even going so far as to swear he would order some educational cards on Amazon. And if you were wondering, Lucas the manager did keep his job, and frankly this probably wasn't something he needed to be fired over. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the show. Please like and subscribe and do all that good stuff that helps me out. Uh, send your clips to Aiden at publicfreakouts.com. And back by popular demand, I'll leave you with this new song I've been working on, which I swear I will release one day.